All right. Mark there. Mark, mark, yay. So, it's going to be all of that stuff. That's all that stuff's going to happen. Okay? All this is going to happen. That's V1. We got up to V1. So, now moving on to V2. It's going to have those moving parts, moving ships. Click to move ships. Now, obviously, you're going to be able to make synthetic materials. And if you think that there's that there's some kind of synthetic material that you want to make, all you have to do, all that you guys have to do, if you want me to add synthetic, a sy certain synthetic material, all you have to do is bring me a formula for that synthetic material. You don't have to just tell me, give me like some kind of sci-fi, something in sci-fi or in real life, some scientific study that tells you how to make this synthetic material. Like, uh, let's see. But, you know, it doesn't have to actually exist in the real world. It just has to have, like, you know, some chemical formula. The chemical formula doesn't really... It needs to be relevant a little bit, because I have taken chemistry, so I'll know if it's whether or not it's just complete bullshit. Okay? Because I want this to be kind of realistic. The, uh, fantasy of tomorrow, today, kind of thing. A little bit realistic. So, if you have something, let me think of synthetic material that, uh can be made, or something na something of that nature, okay? Carbon... I forgot, oh my god. Carbon nanotubes? Yeah, carbon nanotubes are a substance. Now, they're just tubes of carbon atoms. They are very strong. In fact, it's the building material of the future. For the real world, that is. Now, carbon nanotubes you're going to need a research facility obviously for that you're going to need carbon to build that and you're also going to meet need a let's see a pressure cooker because in the pressure cooker it'll form the nanotubes so that's all you need to make a nanotube okay and that will probably be the main robust arm heavy synthetic armor that's going to be used because it's pretty easy to make well that's not only really synthetic that's just a uh, compound Oh, deuterium. Deuterium, this is an example of some of the of what I was talking about for something in sci-fi related. Deuterium hull plating was used in the USS Enterprise series. Star Trek USS Enterprise series, okay? That was their hull plating. So that's why it's going to be put into the game. And also I'm going to do some more research on that and find the specifics of how to make it, what materials are needed, so I can, you know, script in machines and stuff to do that. Okay, let's think of something else. If you guys have any... So just post in the comments below. Ha do hashtag synthetic materials or hashtag ideas if you want me to read it, okay? And I'm going to read every single comment. No matter how crazy. If it says hashtag ideas, all of a sudden it's going to be ideas for a game. You can make it more specific hashtags. But hashtag synthetics, I'm going to really be looking at. Because I, mean, I need some more synthetic materials for this. Because obviously you're going to be like Minecraft. You want to craft more than just what you have. So you're going to make, so that way you can make a little ar armor block. So can you just make a giant long piece of armor for the same cost you can make one block of armor. Like, which one would cost? Which one would cost more? This or this? That's the question. And the answer is they're gonna cost the same. And my reasoning behind this is gonna be like, wait, you could build a really, really big ship with this. I'm gonna be like, you could if you wanted to, but you know, would you really want to do that? And of course, ships are gonna have reactors and all that stuff. So you're gonna also get you're gonna get blocks, obviously. But if you have some armor at place like this, if I shoot, let's see which armor will with halt will withstand better. Because if this thing, because let's say my ships have a shield of three, and there's a ship attacking that is a shield of two. And these armor each have two defense. So I'm like, I shoot this ship once, twice. I've broken through the shields. I shoot it again. I destroyed that block. I shoot this ship. I fire. I fire again, I just take down the shield, and now I shoot at the ship. The ship's gone now. So that's the difference in between these two. That's why it makes sense, okay? So that's pretty much all that you're going to need. 
That's everything else gonna, I'm going to tell you right now. So, MCFY, signing out. Remember to comment, like, subscribe for more, and I will post... I'll post everything you need to do. I'll probably make a Google Plus site or a Google site of this. So you can get some active blogging going on there, right? Yeah, people. Alright, so MCFI signing out. Goodbye, people. Interplanet interplanetary, intercelestial, intergalactic, interuniversal domination. Good bye. What? Why, oh dear. I said stop. No, oh, damn it. Bye. Bye. Oh my god.